Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Asaf Adonai, and welcome to another edition of Asaf Cafe. This is a Christmas special, part three, actually. My guest today is Mr. Jared Moore of Montana. And again, the guest we had before, my friend Patty Reed, she's part of this program today, and I'll probably put her on the spot and have her sing a Christmas song. Alrighty. And her dog, Pee Wee. Can you raise him up? There's little old Pee Wee there. Merry Christmas, little Pee Wee. <laughs> This is a show where I just invite a guest every week, and we just have chips, water, orange juice sometime, and we just chat. And since it's Christmas, we're going to do some Christmas stuff here for starters. I'm not going to tell you what the name of this Christmas song is, but I think you'll know it. Glad she does. Kings of Orient are. My friend Steve, he'd come over and he noticed had a whole bunch of keyboards and he started playing them and she was just howling right along with it. You talking about Pee Wee? Yeah, was, Pee-wee. was howling along? Pee-wee cool. Was just right along with well, do you know a song that made her uh, made him uh, do that? Well, he had his own classical song, so he kind of made it up, so I, I really couldn't. But I mean, anything like um, Silent Night. Or All right, anything. let's see if we can get him to go how. <laughs> That'd be kind of cute. Let's Sing see if we can get that, okay? Uh, let's do, I'll do Silent Night and see if this will work. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a note there. Let me do it again. That's better. Pick a lower key if that was too high. That you want to try it again? Oh, that was sure, beautiful. Sure. Let's just try a little bit lower here. Let's just <laughs> let's try I'm this still key here. Used to the first soprano on my voice. Okay, let's try this key here, the same verse, and see if it works. And uh, Jared, you're welcome to sing along if I, you know the words. We didn't get a yawn out of it. <laughs> you guys are so talented. I don't want to destroy what you're doing. All oh. right, let's try it again. Ready? Uh, let's see if we get Pee Wee to sing along. Yeah, come on, Pee Wee. Oh. Ready? <laughs> and here's the intro. That's way, way easier for your voice, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well. still getting used to going to the first soprano. I tried Adele rolling in the deep at karaoke at West Sides uh-huh. last Thursday. And as soon as I hit that high note, it kind of freaked out my ears. So I stopped and the DJ's going, what's going on? <laughs> okay. So, you still, so you're still going to, are you still considering going out for that show you were talking about last time? Yeah, yeah. I'm it, it, it was at The Voice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was The Voice. Yeah, did you did you have an audition tape already? Are you putting one together? No, I have to work on that still. 
Well, I sure hope you make that show. So if she gets on the voice, I'm going to be able to say, hey, I know that girl. Yeah, well, like I said, my goal is basically to sing something from Journey, which I'm really good at, right? Don't stop believing. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping to impress them so much because I can sing to the backs of chairs. If they hit their button really quick enough and hard enough, mm-hmm. it'll help them snap the spring and they keep spinning. All right, can you out. sing like maybe half a verse of what you want to do from that group Journey if you oh, uh, get on yeah. there? Yeah, I can do the, I whole, be I do the whole song. Well, go ahead. Go for it. Take it. Uh-oh. Maybe you'll be seen. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead. Let's thing. give us some journey here. All right. Okay. This ought to be interesting. Go ahead. Don't stop believing. Oh. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train going anywhere. A singer in a smoke filled room. The smell of wine and cheap perfume. For a smile he can share the night. It goes on and on and on and on. Strangers are waiting. Up and down the boulevards, their shadows searching in the night street lights people living just a fine emotion bombing somewhere in the night don't stop believing hold on to the feeling street lights people <laughs> yeah I don't know that song, so I couldn't do any <laughs> fill-in notes. How but I stop the piano player? But anyway, uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe true. somebody from The Voice will see this show and give yeah. Patty a chance to I audition for The Voice. Opinion. It's a it's a good song to not know. What's the name of the song? <laughs> it was Don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Believing by Journey, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, people out there while. in TV land uh, <laughs> <laughs> who heard that just now, maybe someone will... It's my dream. Help her get on The Voice it's with that song. It's my dream to make the judges' chairs spin out. That's my dream. Well, I hope that happens. I mean, I couldn't do any notes for you because I don't know that song, but uh, <laughs> it sounded well, pretty I've good to me. I asked Steve Perry to help you out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounded good. And, um, it, it did. Sound, it, sounded good. it did. Yeah, ever and it probably sounded even better when you had the right um, notes around it. And yeah. Since I didn't well, know yeah, it, I can't. Yeah. I I'm, see, I'm used it. to singing in that second soprano first alto range, and now uh-huh. I've got to learn how to sing in first soprano range, too, since I've been taking... The crystallized ginseng, which I didn't know it was going to do that. My friend Steve didn't tell me that it really does improve your voice that much. He said, this will help your voice. And I take honey, and I, I, I take a lot of honey and a lot of lemon juice with hot tea. So I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. You guys can keep talking. I've been doing some, some stuff. Oh, jam away. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Please. That's called God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. It's the, oh, yeah. the first part Another of that. classic right there. Yeah, all those um, songs are classics. All right, uh, Jared, I got to ask you, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Wow. It's tough. <laughs> I think they get overplayed so much. Which one is that? Well, a lot of them do. Well, perhaps, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, you, know, you, you know, you go to the bus stop and you hear the same. Jump. Yeah, like what I'm doing now, huh? No, no, this is a beautiful piece. Uh, I think I know. I know. I think I know the right song for Jared of, here. You, you got one for me? Yes, yeah, so I've got a song for Surprise you here. Me, hit me. Okay. And a lot of recordings have children singing different songs. This is yeah. this is going to be for him here. Oh, you got one for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't ask He's me to so sing. so special. Just don't ask me to sing. <laughs> Just specialized in. <laughs> James Terry will be here in time now. <laughs> Making in the green with envy. <laughs> now you know I'm just doing that in fun. Although I, 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 I guess so. We, we wish you a merry he Christmas. Almost mismatched yeah, that that's just a genuinely good. You know. It is. I was just just poking fun with oh, that Grinch no, tone. Course. You're not a Grinch. No. <laughs> Pretty cool guy, actually. 
I'm Actually, just here to eat crackers. <laughs> Actually, um, Jerry came by my uh, house just last night, and we were looking at a little bit of Star Trek. Um, yes, sir. What was the name of it? The Resurrection? No, uh, no. The, insurrection uh, or whatever the that first is? First Contact. First Contact, that's it. The one with the oh. idiot Borg. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I have the entire Star Trek. Is futile. Yeah, he I does. have the entire Star Trek collection, so. Um, oh, he has all He came over, he came oh, over and we're looking at a little I, bit of that last sci-fi night. Sci-fi to go. No, I got fish-eyed when I saw that. He had all of the, I was like, yes. Yeah. The little Star Trek there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we'll let you get away with that. They had Christmas on the ship. We know they did. Or after they got done doing the scene, anyway. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, anyway. It, it was it was just part of the movie. Um, you some crackers? <laughs> no, it's, it's missing uh, probably hamburger or something. Beautiful piece. Yeah, for the dog here. <laughs> so we got to get a dog uh, song in for little Pee Wee too. So that's his oh, little Christmas. She's a Christmas dog. She was born actually on December twelfth, two thousand five. Okay. And her mom Happy must birthday. have been doing math because the first puppies that came out were the three boys because they were born exactly at uh, twelve minutes after. <laughs> uh-huh. On twelve twelve, so it was a twelve 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 day, and then three minutes later came her sister and her. Okay, cool. Yeah, so she's rambunctious. She likes to chase the stuffed duck. So I she goes duck hunting. <laughs> that's great. Now we've played a song for Pee Wee for Christmas, one for Jared, and let's see if you guys know this. And let's have fun. We we'll play name that tune. Okay. This is a let's Christmas song, and I'm not going to tell you. Let's the first one to get two points wins. I'm okay. going to be Jim Lang. You remember that show? I, this is probably before your time. No, I, I do remember. You remember I know that? You're about. Yeah. Name oh, that, that tune yeah, with Jim so Lang. Yeah, I remember a long time. It's in black and white. Theory. Okay, let's, we'll have a small segment of Name That Tune since it's Christmas. Let's do it. Got my little grinch time. All right, first one, you get two points wins. Here's the first song. Okay. Pee-wee's going to win. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. And you have till I uh, stop playing. Whoever names the song first gets a point. And if I stop in the middle of a song wherever you don't get it, nobody gets a point. Got it. Two points. Got it? Rock and roll. All right. I'm sorry. Let me try it again. One, two, three. Up on a house top. Nope. Old Satan? Nope. I know the voices. I'll do it again. Up on a rooftop. Nope, that's not it. It sounds similar. Uh, no, actually, oh, that's called Mrs. Santa Claus. Oh, well, see, it now sounds you're like us a big time. Okay, well, <laughs> got you on that one. Actually, Nat King Cole made that song famous. Really? Oh. Yes, it's called Mrs. Santa Claus. I didn't know. And the middle part goes like this. Oh, when she gets mad, right her there. claws come out. Okay. <laughs> you recognize it? And then here's the conclusion. Uh, That's Mrs. Santa Santa Claus. Claus. Yeah, it's. uh, I'm waiting here. Click, click, click. (laughs) That's called Mrs. Santa Claus. Nat King Cole made that famous. That's a tricky one. Yes, I know. Hey, it's it's Christmas. Okay. Well, yeah. Get you thinking. Well, it does. It sounds exactly like. All right. Let's try a second one. Let's see if you know this one here. Far away. Here's a little ballad here. This is an actual Christmas song. That's called the little boy Santa Claus forgot. 
Oh, wow. see, now you're picking things that I have not heard from. Yeah, and guess who little, made that famous? That's a little obscure. Who? Uh, Natalie Nat Cole. Nat King Cole. I was going to say Natalie Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I said Natalie Cole. That is a song called The Little Boy That Santa Claus Forgot. Wow. It had a line in there about the little boy doesn't have a... He doesn't have a daddy. The little laddie doesn't have a daddy, so he gets nothing for Christmas. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful ballad, you know, and if you ever get to hear it by Nat King Cole, it's, it's well sang. That's a bummer. Song. It's a bummer, yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of like song. Frosty the Snowman where he melts yeah. in the end. Like yeah, well, you know, I know I'm picking some harder ones. I'll pick some more easier ones. Let's try this. <laughs> yeah, still, let's do you know? that because we haven't scored any points yet. Yeah, well, I just wanted to throw those <laughs> two. There's no score on that. I wanted I'm to throw those game. at you and see, you know. Oh, no, bless you for that. I'm, I'm enjoying the game. I'm learning, but it's also like. Yeah, but both of those songs are by Nat King Cole. The Little Boy That Santa Claus Forgot and Mrs. Santa Claus are both. By Nat King Cole. That's beautiful. It's good to know. And you know, normally with Nat King Cole, they always play the Christmas song every year. Which, well, I'm sure his daughter right. Natalie is coming up with, with a, at least a Christmas album. You well, know? I'm sure they are. Maybe Do you know um, who wrote that song, the Christmas song that Nat King Cole sings every year? Mm, no, you stop me because I know Nat wrote some of his own songs. Oh, I know. Uh, that was. Um, do you just, have any idea who wrote it? Yeah, out. that's that's called the Christmas song, but do you have any idea who wrote it? Astaire. Right? No, not Fred Astaire. Really? No, 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 no. Not Andy Way Williams. Not, Andy, not Williams. Andy Williams. Not Andy Williams. Uh, no, it, it was um, actually Mel Torme wrote that no song. No way. Oh, really? Mel Torme oh, wow. wrote that song. Wow, that is... That's, that's, that's bizarre. <laughs> you stopped me again. You're doing good. You're doing good. This is the song that he's probably what, most remembered for. Let me play a piece of it for you. <laughs> yeah, give us one. Recognize it? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. That came out in the 70s. That's yeah. This is it. I know this song, I just can't remember the words. You're gonna get a, I, I can't now, there's no point on this one. I just wanted to demonstrate that. That is a song called Call Me. Call Me. Yeah. Mel Torme introduced that song to the world, and it was probably one of his biggest hits. But he also wrote uh, a lot of songs, and he wrote the Christmas song, the chestnuts roasting on the open fire. Right. That was that's a people one, yeah. probably think that uh, Nat King Cole wrote that song. No, Mel Torme well, wrote, wrote that. Bing Cosby might have wrote it too. He did a lot. <laughs> well, he turned the table on that. Uh, Nat King Cole did. Yeah, no, uh, Nat yeah. King Cole uh, well, sang it and introduced it to the world. But no, Mel Torme wrote that song. In mm-hmm. fact, there's a recording of Mel Torme singing it. Oh really? Yeah, oh, it's cool. good, really? but it's it's good, but it's not Nat King Cole. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't Victor Borgia. No, 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 no. <laughs> so anyway, uh, talking about Bing Crosby, and I think I mentioned this to you before. See if you know this one. Okay. Um, there, um, you know, when they do the um, what is it, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer yeah. every year? Yeah. You know, that was offered to Bing Crosby. Did you know that? Uh-uh, no, I didn't. He was right to turn it down. He turned it down. It's, Bing it's Crosby turned it down. It's more of a children's And because song. he turned it down, it was offered to Gene Autry. Oh, mm. really? Yes, the guy that sings the tumbling tumbleweeds. Bang. The, the western singing cowboy. Yeah, the singing cowboy. See? You remember the song? This one I know, yeah. yeah. This is the tumbling tumbleweeds. Yeah, Gene yeah. Autry was a singing cowboy along with Roy Rogers and the years. A legend. Well, okay, I got one for you. What song did Bing Crosby sing the most that made him a number one hit in Christmas? Probably a White Christmas. Very good. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment, but to finish that point That's I was making, uh, Bing Crosby turned down Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so it was offered to Gene Autry, and the rest is history. Wow. That's the history of that song. Do you think you regretted that? I don't know if he regretted it, I, but I think he had, I, I would imagine that, he said, man, that could have been me on there, see? I, I think, think that was smart. I think what's don't really funny, though, it, it actually, over the time and years, children began to love it more than the adults. It became a children's number Yeah. One. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. But see, you know, Gene Autry it was, was an interesting singer. He wasn't a Sinatra or anything, but he was good. Oh, yeah. So when he sang Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I think it worked. The way it was sung and the yeah. sound of his voice yeah. for that particular recording it worked he didn't like holding out notes very long well no that was just his style you know but uh it would be most interesting if Bing Crosby had sang that I wonder 
you know, it would have it taken would probably a different course. Take, you know, Andy Williams, you know, they were talking about Andy Williams. They were saying that Andy Williams had the most gold records opposed to Elvis Presley, who was, like, number one. That's I amazing. can believe that. I can believe that. I was going, wow. That's and amazing. And he, he had a Christmas show. Every time he did a Christmas show, he brought his whole family out. And him and his, he had three other brothers, so they sung together really good. And their number one Christmas show of all time was when they had the Osmonds, when Donnie was Yeah, I remember guy. that. We're, we're dating ourselves, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> now, this might be before your time, Jerry. But, uh, I'm older than I look, but yeah. That <laughs> yeah, is I, a little you bit. remember the Osmonds. Every the year. Osmonds are not really my style, no. <laughs> You know, that's okay, but it worked for them at the time when they were on Andy Williams. And, you know, um, when I was growing up, I used to watch the Andy Williams special every year. You know, mm-hmm. when they did that every oh, year. Yeah, it's still, it was delightful. It and was. I, I was, it was surprised fine. how large the family really had yeah. from his brothers having their children and everything. It was just amazing. Well, every once in a while, they show all four of the brothers together singing, but Andy Williams did a little solo singing, <laughs> and uh, he was very good at it. And uh, But getting back to Gene Autry, yeah, he did the uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and it's history. The rest stole, is history. Stole the show, I guess, with that. When he you, did. He did. When, they, you, when you outdo Bing Crosby, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. They had a. That's impressive. I did not know that. Yes, um, that was offered to Bing Crosby. Turned it down, and Gene Autry sang it, and uh, it's history. And uh, I think uh, somebody once asked me if that if the, if they think that's why he took White Christmas because he missed the uh, first opportunity. That I will never know. I think it was because he could be very, very um, sentimental and very emotional. And yeah. You know, the women loved him. They just loved it. They, one time, uh, Warner Brothers decided to make fun of Bing Crosby, and what they did is they make a, made a, a hen pen with all these female hens, right? Uh-huh. And they had a rooster impersonating <laughs> Bing. And these, Are you these serious? hens were going, Aah! Oh, was that a cartoon? Yes, was, I think I remember that cartoon. Yeah, it was a real. It was, it was, it was You could probably see it on YouTube. It was a real skinny rooster, <laughs> yes, right? And that he was could just crow better than the rest. He was I got to awesome. look for that. Yeah, that, that sounds funny. Well, see, when I was a little boy, they had cartoons that were really interesting character character cartoons. A lot how of you animals. That. Yeah. Animals that you know. <laughs> Bugs Bunny, Woody Woodpecker, all the I rest say, of them. I say, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say. I, I, I so could never get into Foghorn. He he just worked my last nerve. <laughs> he had an ego. He had an ego from Mr. Boy, boy, boy. I said, come here, boy. I mean, you know, if you had somebody in your life like that for real, just oh, would, man. it would just drive you nuts, oh, yeah. that Foghorn leg horn. He was and he knew what he was after. You know, one of the funniest <laughs> one of the funniest cartoons of that episode I saw, um, you know how um, Foghorn just go on and on and on and on? Mm-hmm. And the, the, the bad guy told him to shut up, right? Shut up! So he's talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. <laughs> and then he said something about shut up, shutting up. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he brings in the dog. Yeah, <laughs> so that dog. was really funny, <laughs> too. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but no, Foghorn, boy, he can work your nerves, though. I mean... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, our game, we're still tied nothing to nothing. I know, we've got plenty of time still. we got about uh, 15 minutes left. We'll, we'll, we'll make it a little bit easier. But I want to make it quick. I got it. All this. What, what, one thing I did want to bring about, and then I'll leave Andy Williams alone. Oh. When he had the Osmonds on there, right? Uh huh. He goes, he goes, he had his brothers beside him, and they were on one side of this counter, and the Osmonds are on the other side, right? Mm-hmm. He goes, So, what are you boys going to do? And he went, One of his brothers goes, What are you boys going to do when one of you gets singing better than the rest and then just takes off and leaves the group? And Donnie, it was just so cute. He was so little, about six years old. He says, oh, well, then I'll just do like you did and invite my brothers on the show and we'll sing together again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cute as well. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, it was. He just, they laughed so hard. It was a good, good laugh. <laughs> cool. So, see, I, I just think this is fun. You know, just a little Christmas song, uh, ch- song show and just... Yes, sir. You never know the spontaneity of the show. Well, you know, it's gonna important come up. to bring laughter back. Um, of America's course. It's really having a lot of sad times in all parts, you know, between know the it. bad weather and stuff. So yeah. it's it's our duty to make people laugh. That's the best medicine. You don't have to wrap it up in no package unless you want to put a bow on yourself, you know. Yeah. That's the cool thing. Or be it. some famous comedian or something. Just Yeah, you know. I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, Leo, I'm multi-talented. So I can well, more. maybe on a future show we'll have you do a two or three minute stand-up we comedy routine. We can do the last routine. comic standing in Missoula. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Um, and just see how that goes. Some people have just turned into a joke. We can't help it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Could just sit here for an hour and have a dunk tank. 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's finish our game here. We've got uh, still zero zero here. Let's finish this game here. Let's do it. Maybe I should expand it. Not only just Christmas songs, but songs in general. See if you know this one. Okay. Don't know it, huh? No. Okay. No idea. <laughs> Still don't know it, huh? That's the old Speed Racer cartoon. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I'll, I'll make it a little bit easier. Uh. Pee Wee knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, she's been silenced. <laughs> she's embracing it. Like, All right, let's try another mind. one here and see if you know this one. I, and this time, to make the game interesting, I may start in the middle of, uh, of a song, too. Oh, okay. Let's have All a right. challenge. I'm here yes, okay, good. still zero zero. We got 15 minutes left on this show, Christmas show here. Let's see if somebody can get a point. All right, let's try this one here. Um, <laughs> Me either. All right, I'm going to do it in slow I motion so you can hear the note. <laughs> here we go. Let's do it. I'm sorry, wrong note. Let me try it again. Not even close. No, that wasn't who played it. <laughs> the four tops. That's a hint. I'll do it again. I think I know the composer. I don't oh, know. Oh, um, what's the name? I know the song. It's a woman's name. Yes, it is a woman's name. You're um, throwing spades at us. Uh, it's called Bernadette. Bernadette, yes. This is a little classical oh, version of Bernadette. Can I get a half a point? <laughs> Uh-uh. Recognize now? Yes. Yeah, Bernadette. Yeah. I knew it was a woman's name, but I just couldn't. It's not a popular woman's name. Not everybody's name. Bernadette. Well, I'll tell you a really embarrassing story that actually happened to me once. Oh, no. You remember the uh, group, The Temptations? Yeah. Well, I met those guys in person once. Awesome. And uh, this was years ago. And they came around the piano and they wanted to hear me play a song. Really? And I played Bernadette. <laughs> Did you? Did and I didn't realize I was playing the wrong song till I finished. So it was so embarrassing. Oh, because they the lead along anyway? No, they just, they liked the, they liked the song to say, Asaph, uh, we like the way you play that, but that's the wrong song. That's not our group. That's the Four Tops. <laughs> that actually happened. Wow. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> they have the temptations I around said, the piano. I would say, give me another tempting that's, song. That's that, like, yeah, that's that was, like, yeah. show me the door. I, that's exactly how I felt, too, because the they were all around me uh, when I was playing it, and, oh. They had to be laughing inside. <laughs> I'm sure they were, and then they smiled, and they said, good job, Asap, you played that song very well, but that's not our song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We tried that's a too. true story. I actually had that happen to me, so. Well, that was cool. I mean, you still got your 15 minutes of fame from fame, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, so. So they promoted you, so that's, that's like, wow. Well, that's they. They that were is, coming through. They were going. They were on the way to do a concert. They stopped at the hotel where I was playing it at the time. So. Oh, your timing is perfect. Yeah, awesome. and uh, <laughs> I just, you know, they say black people don't turn red, but I sure did. <laughs> You're blushing right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it was so many years ago, but it was so embarrassing to to do that. So. That's a tough one, though. As there was one time when Quarter Flash was in town back when I was in high school at Hellgate, mm -hmm. and uh, they went over to the donut shop, which is now a fish and tackle place. And people, some of my friends were skipping class, and they and I was like, no, I'm not going to skip class today. They came back with donuts going, guess what? We saw, we saw a quarter flash. They were coming through. They had bear claw, and maple bar, and all this. All right, like, let's oh. try. Let's try this Somebody song here. A, Somebody turned a donut shop into a bait and tackle place. Yeah. I guess yeah. that's better than the right other across, way around. Right across, right across the Higgins Bridge over that way. Yeah. Let's try this one and see if you know this one. You can tell it's Christmas, see? Yeah, this one's good. The dream of mine. Well, the Bible tells me so. Well, you know the name of it? There we go. Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus Yeah, you got it. All right, Patty, you got a point. It's yeah, called Jesus I know, Loves you, Me. 
started saying it, I knew I was oh, She got me. You beat me to the punch on that one. Okay, so Patty has one That's point. One, yeah. Jared yeah. still has zero. Okay, let's see if we can Pee-wee have Jared catch point. up here. <laughs> pee has got perked ears. All right. <laughs> let's lovely. try this song here. Um, such a good girl. Okay, let's see. Um, let's try this one. And you pass it all around. Do the hokey pokey. Yeah, yeah that's it. What? The hokey pokey. That's okay. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Eating crackers. <laughs> Eating crackers. <laughs> Eating crackers, yeah. So, you know... Th- uh, but see, that's what that game, that that real um, name that tune was so fun in its time. And ASAF, watch, I used to get that stuff in like two notes. They got a new one now with um, I heard about Mr. That. Brady on there. Wayne um, Brady, the uh, comedian? Yeah, Wayne Brady. And I, I, I know I'd do good if I went on that one. Well, you know they're going to make them songs a lot harder than when Jim Lang was on. Well, yeah, Jim Lang, you mentioned that. You remember, he, they would give you like three notes. Yeah. If you, and uh, people would nail it, and you're like... How the heck did you know that? Yeah. Well, it just depends on the song, too, yeah. and, and so on. There's certain songs, like... What they do is they let you pick... On the new one, they let you pick out the category. Oh, okay, yeah. They and then I'm pick. sure the categories are... Yeah. They probably have, like, a lot more harder singers than yeah, and then when you Jim Lang was hosting it. that you want to sing to, and then you go from there. Since I do a lot of karaoke, and I sing with amateur bands... See like if you know this one here. See if you know this song here. There you go. I'll be there. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Five. Michael That's Jackson. it. You know, funny uh, talking about dating yourself. You know, a lot of younger people don't even remember Michael Jackson as a little boy on the Jackson Five. Oh wow! Seriously, well, I they should I, start I, watching I, some I disagree, PBS. I disagree. With no, you. I've taken some polls. I I've actually done this. There are people like in their twenties uh-huh. here. That did not know that that cute little boy singing with the high notes was Michael Jackson. Because everybody's he was used first to. All the way. Well, I know I realize that, but everybody is so used to older Michael. Right, right. That they forget he was a child. Yeah, you can hear. Hundred million they'll, they'll... views on YouTube doesn't lie. They're no, no, I know. I'm not saying all over. I'm just saying the polls that I have taken. Um, a lot of people did not know. Yeah. Even when I was in New York. There were a lot of people that did not know that they that little boy. Music. Yeah, was Michael Jackson. Like in some of those neighborhoods, like in the Queens area and stuff, mm-hmm. you'd be surprised. You'd yeah, really they might. Be surprised. They, they might know the one though. Um, uh, Rock and Robin. Oh and yeah. A lot of people know that one. Stop the love you saved my feet. Yeah. Uh huh. That song's annoying. Annoying, huh? <laughs> well, he's creepy in it, I guess. I mean, he just kind of gives you some creeps. Yeah. Jerry, do you want to sing a tune at all? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought I'd ask. Musician. I don't want to get I, you all left all out the here. you keep playing it, you say are Christmas songs, I don't know them. Well, I know, but then I changed the category. So what about, let's say, uh, let we need to get him a tree uh, and then they'll come back to his number. I try this song here and see if anybody knows it. Oh, Christmas tree. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know that one. Oh, yeah, okay. I know that one. <laughs> I didn't even give him a chance. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> old cracker plate, old cracker plate. I'll show you another Those cracker. are good crackers, aren't they? <laughs> they're not bad. Yeah, they're... We're down to about our last eight minutes, guys. Eight minutes? Yes, and well, let's, then... Well, let's talk about what we're doing for Christmas. Want to try that? Yeah, mm-hmm. let's do that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I'm playing at the mall these days, you know. Mm-hmm. I've been playing there for... Uh, this will be my second week coming up, second or third week coming up. Every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm playing at the mall for the Christmas holiday. And what, which, which time? Is Starting afternoon? at 11 o'clock. So if you guys are in the area... Well, I'll probably come by and listen to you, and then at night when I go home, it's my fiber optic tree that I bought in 1987 that rotates, and on the bottom of the stand says Merry Christmas, and then I have a fiber optic angel, and I just got a banner that's an angel that's fiber optic. So I'm having a fiber optic for Christmas. Well, I plan on going to the CLC, as you know. We have fellowship there. I, I plan on going to the Christian Life Center for a candlelight service on Christmas Eve. It's for Christmas Day, I have no idea. Cool. I'll just go hang out at the park or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for Christmas yet. I do have Christmas lights up. 
Amy's going to have a bone for this <laughs> Good and for I'm him. I'm going to wrap it because she won't let me. <laughs> That kind of sounds like a. Want to pick a bone? Kind of sounds like you got burned on Christmas. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do well, that. we're gonna so pick bad. a bone for Christmas. That's not bad. <laughs> I, I think the CLC does an awesome job with that. Yeah, that's a... They really do. Yeah, that's a neat church to go to. I've been there a few times. It's modest. It's, mm-hmm. it's completely respectful, and it and it acknowledges what the holiday is supposed to be. Yeah, is Pastor Dave still there? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember him. So where is that church located? It's right on the corner of Russell, um, like between 34th and um, Higgins. Oh, okay. Yeah, There's that gigantic, that huge There's that church gigantic Albertsons. Right there. It's right across yeah. the street. Right. Yeah. They do yeah, like that's like a pretty to cool walk church. Up in there a couple times. They like to walk out. And then every, you know, they do the yeah. Easter thing every every year too. Yeah. They have the guy, the actor, yeah. looks like Jesus. Oh, uh, that's that's, <laughs> a, that's an edgy play, man. No, no holds barred there. That that's a rated R play. No kidding. Whoa, I guess you have to make it a it's, believable. It's the real deal. They 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 nail it. Well, Figuratively gonna, and literally. I'm gonna put a little point here. I made this shirt. Seven years ago. I like that outfit there. on there that it's you have still on. Still working, still working. Very That's colorful. cool. That's cool. I made a couple of them. The other one I wore last time to karaoke, so I thought I'd wear this one to karaoke this time. Okay. Um, and what time did you say you have to leave today? Um, well, it starts in the evening. I get there about 8.30. Okay. You can see it's at West Side Lanes. And okay. they run it till about 1.30 in the morning. And a lot of times I get to begin and end the show, so... Thursday's my favorite because I can sing more on Thursday. If I try on Friday and Saturday, there's a lot more college students there, so it's it's limited. So I don't <laughs> like to sit there very long without singing. I like to hog the mic. It's really my favorite thing. Well, <laughs> boy, I hope that embarrassing moment won't pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that? I think the mic probably caught that too. Oh well, we can't edit that out. There's this no way to do is, that. It's just improvisation. No, that's that's part of the <laughs> improv too. Scare me, and I don't know. That's okay. We're not trying to embarrass you. One I, of those I mean, Christmas moments of gifts. Yeah, that's a, that's a Merry Christmas. Giving. Too. <laughs> well, that happens to everybody. Well, you know, if we're wow. if we're talking about an embarrassing moment, I'll share a quick embarrassing moment I did once. The Temptations. No, thing? no, no, not that one. This is really embarrassing. Bad. I was I was get, I was doing a news interview literally with the Salvation Army because you know I used to play for them uh-huh. and um, it was this really good looking uh, reporter that was doing the story and the captain of the Salvation Army was sitting right next to me. You told me this before. Yeah, and my zipper was down and a piece of my shirt was sticking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! So I was did so. Did you find out you were happy to meet her? No, well, nobody <laughs> noticed it until uh, after it was shot. Oh. And it went on TV like that. I'm like, everybody think I got this tiny little wee-wee. Th- oh, well, never mind. But anyway, <laughs> it was really embarrassing That's to do really this the with moment. the Salvation <laughs> Army there. Our and it, this was during Christmas, too. So my point is I've had some embarrassing moments in my life, our, too, as we, we all have. I had, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll share one with you. I was going to tell you right oh, one time no. at the Outback Saloon, and I was singing uh, No One Else on Earth by Wyona. Mm-hmm. And I, I I got to the point where I changed a little bit to, how the hell did you meet, get to me, right? Mm-hmm. This guy was surrounded by beautiful women, and he came up, and he knelt down, and he goes, oh, baby, sing some more to me. That was a, I'm like, DJ, help me. I know what celebrities go through. I was like, yeah. And the women, they look like their claws were coming out to get me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, I made it through that. Aren't you just glad you're not famous where they have those cameras stuck in your face all day long? I think I'd take the back roads if it was me with the bra, so they'd have a hard time finding me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you get famous and make it big time, but remember that you're going to probably have paparazzi coming around you. Oh, that's okay. I'll give them a good show. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> I'd like to see you I'll on entertainment like tonight, doubles. you know. I'll have three doubles going out each door and then the right one will get into the limo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, one last uh, guessing song. See if you know this Let's one. Let's do it. Oh, God. I just wanted you to get one point. I didn't say it. I was going to say it, but I didn't. But you said that, yeah, okay. Well, The and last then, uh, part of that is I the didn't, best I part. didn't say it. I was going to let him have one moment of glory. I, I actually know that. That's all I can afford is one moment of glory. This is a, this is a 
I know that. Yeah, game. that. Okay, that's uh, that's I, Jeopardy. The thing in Jeopardy. That's <laughs> and we're down to about our last three minutes, guys. And uh, did you want to do part two, or do you have to leave? You and Pee Wee. Um, when we, we set up. I just basically have to go check the meter. We can do that. Um, it, see, forty-five minutes is almost come and gone now. Well, I want to take this opportunity. We should both a Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas Merry to you. Christmas Thank you so and much. And again, Merry ladies Christmas. and gentlemen, um, this is ASAF Cafe, our Christmas show, and our guest is Jared Moore and Patty Reed. And Patty, you look very lovely today with your outfit on. <laughs> and Pee Wee, I'm all too. I'm decked out for Christmas. Uh huh. Pee Wee's been a good guest for uh... she's, she's She's hot about the idea. She's really yeah. Good. She's a cute, <laughs> cute little doggy there. Very relaxed. Yeah, and is there a Christmas song you'd like to sing as we conclude? Mm. Let's see. What should we sing? Oh. Oh, I don't know if we know that one. Which one is that? <laughs> I, I think I remember the words to that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think here. What's a Christmas tree? Oh, Christmas tree? You want to do a Christmas tree? Yeah. yeah I, I can know, sing I I'll do a verse that real quick. I'll try to sing it. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Kind of a. <laughs> it's a word out version remake. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding down uh, part one of ASAF Cafe, another Christmas special. And uh, whatever your religious beliefs are, this is the time of year to remember the baby Jesus. <laughs> and uh, I want to say Merry Christmas to our viewing audience. Merry Christmas to Patty, Jared. And until our next show, Maranatha. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. It's the whenever, call of the hour when I show up. <laughs> whenever you hear me say the term Maranatha, that's the end of the, that's a Hebrew greeting. Oh. And then I play that, uh, this guy's in love with you and freeze on that chord. Oh. Oh, so they'll respectful. fade that out. He's in love with his love. <laughs> so if you guys want to do part two, we're going to put I am, I, I think I like kind of ruined part one. No, no, no. That's yeah, out the I fun totally part. I could have go out for a second. Oh, that's okay. Those things meter. happen. Well, the crackers did it. Oh, I need my, my wallet. See, that's what I'm going to have to get changed. I don't worry about it. I don't to worry about it. I don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, I might need my, my, my coat from my wallet, so I might have to put more change in there. It'll go by so fast, nobody will even No, I got a friend in the UK who's going to get a kick out of that. Well, uh, like, is that real? I'm just saying that, that, that... No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I know you didn't mean to, but I was just <laughs> warning you, those microphones are You will hit very... number one now on YouTube. No, that, that one, that one. All right, guys, no. let me uh, get the, everything set up. Well, nobody was talking, or no one was talking. <laughs> no one brought me. <laughs> oh, I was looking at the dog and all of a sudden, oh man, and I mean, I...